Number 48, letter A. Find the length of an organ pipe closed at one end that produces a fundamental frequency of 256 hertz when air temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. All right, so first check out number 42. I went through a general overview of this topic, all right, talking about the formula. So now we know we have a pipe closed at one end. So why don't we choose that one end uh, formula? where it says that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided by uh, 4L. And the harmonics can be the first harmonic, the third harmonic, the fifth harmonic. Notice how it's odd number harmonics. Okay, so if I want to find the length of the tube as they're asking me to do, then I have to know basically everything else, right? The frequency of some nth harmonic, I have to know then that value of the nth harmonic and then the velocity of sound. So first thing is, why don't we just solve this thing for L? And basically it's literally as simple as this, just cross multiply with the L on out of the denominator there and bring the F sub N down into the denominator on that side. All right, so that's it. So here we have now our little formula. And now I gotta see if I, do I know the uh, velocity of sound? Well, no, they didn't tell it to me, but they told me this air temperature. So what the, what? What does that have to do with it, right? Well, you have to remember now the prior concepts in the chapter that the speed of sound is affected by temperature. And we have the formula over here on the right-hand side, 331 multiplied by the square root of T over 273. So I'm going to expand on that, all right? So watch. So we're going to take now, instead of the velocity of sound, we're going to plug in now the 331 times then the square root of the temperature in Kelvin divided by 273. And now that's divided by 4 times four times the frequency, okay, of the nth harmonic. Now, we can basically plug in everything we have. They told us that we have a fundamental frequency of 256. The fundamental frequency is the first harmonic. So I know my n value. So n is equal to one, okay? Then it's 331 multiplied now by the square root of the Kelvin temperature. Well, they told it to me in Celsius, but no big deal, right? That's just 273, we gotta convert it into Kelvin plus 18. That's then going to be divided by 273, all in that uh, radical. Then divide it now by 4 times that fundamental frequency they told us, a.k.a. the frequency of the first harmonic. So this is 256, and voila. Let's just calculate, all right? So let's do, let's do, uh, so 331 multiplied by square root, and then we can do parentheses, 273 plus 18, close those parentheses, divided by 273 all over the radical, or all under the radical, I should say, and then divide that now by four times 256. And it's going to be 0.334-ish. And that's in terms of meters. Okay, so that's the length of the tube. So, that takes care of letter A. Now letter B, it says, what is its fundamental frequency at 25 degrees Celsius? So now that we know the length of the tube, right, and we know that the speed of sound will be changing now, we basically just have to do the formula again, right? So let me just move this stuff on over a little bit. If I can grab a little more space, that'd be great. Okay, and let me now just do B over here. So we have the same formula, all right? So the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided by four times the length of the tube. So we have to find the fundamental frequency and you know that that correlates with the first harmonic. So the fundamental frequency F sub one, you can also plug in F sub F, it doesn't matter. All right, will equal then the first harmonic N is one multiplied by the velocity of sound. So you know we have that formula, right? We gotta substitute that again, 331 multiplied by the square root of that Kelvin temperature. They didn't give me Kelvin, they gave me Celsius, right? So all you gotta do is do the conversion. So that's gonna be 273 plus the 25. All divided then by 273. That's all under the radical. Then divide it now by four times the length of the tube, which is this, okay? 0.334, and I'll use the exact value when I calculate. So here we go, let's do it. So this is going to be 331 times then square root, parenthesis, 273 plus 25, close the, square, uh, close the parenthesis, divided by 273, all under the radical, and then divide that now by four times that exact value, okay, and I get a value of about 259, all right, so 259, and that's in terms of hertz. And if you notice, the fundamental frequency here is a little higher than the fundamental frequency uh, when the temperature was 18. 
Why? Well, that's because the speed of sound increased. See the frequency value is directly proportional to the velocity of sound, and the higher the air temperature, the faster the sound. That's it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If it, this helped at all, help us out by subscribing. We appreciate it very much. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.